Your name is? Ruth Rahim. Ruth Rahim. And uh, what was your mother's name? Is Rosetta that? Belgrave. Rosetta Belgrave. And can you tell us a little something about your mother and why we're having a discussion today? Well, from my understanding, my mother was the first Baha'i female. And uh, at this time, the Baha'is are looking into the, what should we say? The initial, is it? Was it the initial period when they started some 30 odd years ago? Was the early years of the faith in Grenada? Is that what it was? It was the early years of the faith in Grenada. All right. And what were those years uh, during which your mother got interested in the Baha'i faith? About what period was that? I would say it's around the mid to late 50s. That was quite a while ago, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. Now, your mother, uh, Rosetta Belgrave, was a very unusual she was. She was deeply religious and took an interest in all religions. She did? She did. And originally your mother was what religion? She was an Anglican. Anglican. And then what religion did your mother um, become very close to in her early years? A Nazarene. Uh -huh. Sometime in that? the early 20s she became a Nazarene, being converted by Pastor McLaren, who has since passed away. How was, how did she feel about being Nazarene? How was that for her? She took everything as she did with everything in her life seriously. She became interested in her religion. She practiced it and saw that all those around her practiced their religion, her children and her family and things like that. Mm -hmm. She was a very devoted Nazarene. A very devoted Nazarene. And at a certain point in your mother's life, she became acquainted with the Baha'i faith. Can you tell me a little bit about how that was? Tell me a little bit about how she found out about the Baha'i faith and the friends that she met and so forth. I can't at this moment um, give any details as to how she became involved. But as um, I should mention, that religious, religious people met often at our home. The Adventists, the Baptists, Pentecostals, and of course she would meet with the Baha'is. And she would be interested. They would be invited home, and they would hold discussions on their religious views, and, and they would discuss the matters. And then if she's interested, she'd follow it up. She never gave up that easily. She would want to know more and more about it. It would appeal to her. So then the Baha'is would, would invite her, and she would visit them. And they would visit her at her home. Mm -hmm. So from then, the meeting came. So she became friends with the Baha'is before she actually joined the faith. She became friends and she went to the meetings. And did you go with her to the meetings? At times, I would drive her down mm -hmm. and attend the meetings there with other people. And how were the people? And how did you feel about those people? They were friendly and religious and serious. It was very interesting when you attended the meetings. It's a very lively meeting and they'd be asking questions and they would answer it and everybody would become involved in the meetings. So it wasn't as if, I did, if you just um, sat there and listened to somebody telling you something. Everybody was interested at that time because here yeah, we knew very little of the Baha'is. It was a new